Landlords are taking a stand, calling on the end of all eviction moratoriums put in place during the COVID pandemic. As our media partners at the SF Standard report, one landlord has even resorted to a hunger strike, hoping to draw attention to his cause and how he has suffered. Joining us live now is the author of that article and reporter for the SF Standard, Han Lee. Han, nice to see you. Hi, Kristen. Thank you for having me. So with all the public health emergencies being dropped, I think very few cities still have eviction moratoriums. Which cities or counties still have them? So yes, California just dropped the uh, COVID emergency uh, after today. So, um, but in San Francisco and also Alameda County, uh, both of these two counties do have the eviction moratorium protecting the tenants from being evicted because they cannot pay the rent during the pandemic. I see. And of course, there was a lot of praise for California and for the counties when the pandemic happened, right? People couldn't go to work, they couldn't earn an income. So these moratoriums were passed to ensure people didn't end up in the streets and become even more susceptible to catching and spreading COVID. So that made a lot of sense then uh, and can probably be easily absorbed by the large landlords. But what's been on the impact on the mom and pop landlords, the smaller ones? I assume we have many in the Bay Area. Yeah, so a lot of those smaller landlords, they are providing housing to the rental market too, right? But sometimes because of, you know, the financial hardship of their tenants, they cannot pay rent. And that will have direct impacts to a smaller uh, landlords like the mom and pops, right? And they will be very easily impacted if there are smaller financial changes to their income, right? And they have to pay more mortgage and they're very easily being, you know, impacted uh, by um, this, this tenant protection law. Yeah, we're looking at a picture of this woman holding this sign. My tenant has not paid rent in three years. There's some other pictures involving other landlords who took part in this protest that you covered and shot these photos that you're sharing with us. There was one landlord in San Leandro in particular. I think this is the gentleman who's on the hunger strike. Tell us his story. How much money has he lost? What is his situation? Yes, I wrote a story yesterday So about this landlord. Um, his name is Jin Yu Wu. So Mr. Wu is a landlord. Um, he has a property in San Leandro. So right before the pandemic, he rented to the tenants, right, one of his units. And then starting the pandemic, uh, the tenants no longer paid rent, stopped paying rent. And for about three years, 37 months, and owing about 120K, which is the big amount of money, right? And then, um, which, which push... Um, uh, Mr. Wu uh, facing bankruptcy right now, and he has to go on this extreme uh, way of hunger strike to protest. I think I saw on the sign that his son can't pay tuition or something. So, because I, yeah. I think a lot of people think of landlords as being wealthy. Uh, they're not all necessarily the case. So isn't there supposed to be a relief fund for them? Because as part of the pandemic, I thought landlords were getting money from the government as well to supplement the fact that they're losing income from the rent. Yes, there are a lot of rent relief programs, but normally it will require both the landlord and also the tenants to cooperate together to apply for this relief fund, right? Because you have to show proof and evidence of the tenants, okay, because if I no longer can work, so I don't have income, so I cannot pay the rent. You have to show the proof. And then the government will say, yes, okay, you are impacted. So here is the relief fund for you, right? But for Mr. Wu's case, it's hard for him to really cooperate with his tenants. So um, he did apply for the relief fund, but didn't get anything. I see. All right. So it takes the tenants cooperation as well. So yeah. I want to ask you, I think Alameda County supervisors are meeting today. Is that right? Uh, is this on the agenda? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's on the agenda. So I think the Board of Supervisors, they would talk about whether to end or terminate the eviction moratorium. And if it ends, probably uh, Mr. Wu will also stop hunger strike. But um, I, I, I haven't followed that closely today. Yeah. All right. So definitely we'll stay on top of it. But bottom line, these landlords are all supposed to eventually be paid back, right? These moratoriums don't say the renters never have to pay, right? Yes. So there are federal or state or local level, all these different kinds of tenants protection. But um, it's very confusing. But um, a lot of people might think, oh, are, are, the, are the rents are being canceled? Actually, no. Um, all this uh, back rent uh, 
uh, all this debt, um, the tenant has to uh, repay uh, eventually. But uh, they are being protected uh, for now, uh, or you know, uh, for a period of time that they can uh, not pay the rent. But uh, at the end, they still have to repay all the rent. Yeah, and it seems like we're getting close to the end, at least in most places. Han Lee, thank you so much. Really appreciate it.